All right, this is uh, episode three of my new podcast. This is Mike Decker, my good buddy, fucking OG fan, fucking sharing this shit before I even started on YouTube, sharing it on Facebook. How's it going, bro? Ah, uh, you know me, just hanging out, living the dream. Yeah, you got those yeah. fucking uh, sick new headphones you were showing me. Fucking tell me about. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Not bad. Can't go wrong. <laughs> yeah, those are crazy, dude. The headphones. <coughs> I'm just drinking some vino. What are you drinking? Some Brava. Good old nice, Brava. Nice, nice, bro. Nice. Can't go wrong with the, the mm. pure summer. Word. All right, let's get right into it. What do you think about Epstein, bro? Epstein. I don't even know anything about it, and I don't care. Word. All Legit. right. Moving on. <laughs> Legit. Everybody's all like, oh, da, 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 da. yeah, I don't know. Don't care. Mm. That's, that's, that's the least of my worries right now. Word, word. <laughs> it's, it's, it's when I should break the gas mask out and put it on because shit's going to get real. Got to shave my face so it fits right. Yeah, bro, you got a fucking nice beard. You look like fucking Heisenberg, bro. All right, it's it's getting there. <laughs> oh. You just I need just some fucking with... shades, some fucking bowler hat. You be right? good to go. I got a couple fedoras, but not a bowler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, man, you make me want a cigarette. I wish I could smoke in here. Oh wow. Yeah, that's the best. But mm-hmm. my the, my neighbors upstairs smoke. Oh, nice. I might, might as well, right? I live with my parents, so I got to go outside for that shit. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a downside. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? So how are you handling this whole fucking quarantine shit, bro? Yeah, I mean, it's not terrible. I've just been, I mean, I'm used to it every winter anyways, right? Like, I, I'm mm-hmm. seasonal, so I usually stay home most of the winter to save money anyways. I'm on EI. But, uh. Yeah, no, I don't know, whatever. It's just an extra couple months of winter, basically. But it yeah, just that's a good like point. I'm, I might miss out on a whole year's work, so And then if I do that, that means I have no hours for EI, so I'm screwed next winter. So, yeah, it's uh, kind of shitty. True. Well, they, they'll but, probably take that into consideration, like the government or whatever, I'm guessing. Yeah, but still, it will end up with OW. It's very mm-hmm. bitch. Yeah, yeah, true. $800, $800 a month pays my rent and gives me enough money for like some groceries or I pay my car insurance one or the other yeah <laughs> right and then you're just fucked for the rest yeah that's a good point shit yeah it's, it's, and you know, if you go and make any money you have to claim it and then they take money off of your money so you lose mm-hmm. money like it's, it's fucking retarded the system's literally set up so you can fail yeah it is bro but what god are you damn do? mm-hmm You still doing Living darts? That. The online darts? Oh yeah, but I just got my new set of darts in the mail. Nice, nice. Yeah, pretty decent. Little small. They look like little bombs. They're decent. Yo, do you believe in magic, bro? Yeah. You think it's possible? Magic, yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit, you would love my boy Devin, man. I've been roasting yeah. him because he believes in magic. <laughs> Oh, I don't, you know, it's, it's all right. I believe in magic. Why not? That's like, awesome, it's man. Not, it's not like, it's not all like 100% legit, but it, there is tricks of the eye and illusions and shit. Like, it, there's, it is some forms of magic. Like, I'm not saying that you can just be yeah, like, we're... boom, and there's like a fucking flower there or some shit. No, that's, <laughs> that's, that's part of the magic. It's all an illusion. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See, so, like, like I don't, I don't, I don't think that people can like read minds and shit. Like those people are crazy. I think it's maybe like, possible. Anything's possible, but I don't, I don't think that's happening. Yeah. But maybe. Like I've, I've had, that's I've sad. had slight forms of like deja vu. So like I kind of get mm-hmm. like that sense of like magical shit because like I've woken up and then like three months later one of my dreams comes true. You know, yeah, that's shit. pretty fucked up. Yeah, but. It could be a coincidence, right? Like, there's only so many possibilities of things that could happen. And you've had so many dreams that haven't come true, right? Yeah. So eventually your dream is going to come true and you're just going to be like, what the fuck? I can see the future. But what about all the times that you were wrong? You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. 
Yeah, but no, as far as darts has been going, it's been going pretty good. We're on uh, this uh, Sunday will be our fourth night for the league. And then we also do like small five dollar tournaments and ten dollar tournaments that are like double elimination kind of setup. So you like if you lose you go into like a loser's qualifier round or it's mm-hmm. like just for fun or maybe there would be like a prize of like five bucks if they can swing it with an odd number. And how do you guys play that? Like is it like you're actually throwing darts in real life at your own dart board or and then you yeah, like so my, just do my board's set up behind me here, and then uh, I have... You do it uh, on the live stream, right, or something? Well, we do it through Facebook Messenger. So we set up our, uh, like, our extra phone or our webcam or what have you to see the board. And then we have a program we use called Dart Connect on the other on another computer. And then Word. you get to go. And if a couple guys live stream, too, also on another phone. I might start doing that, too. Just because, like, for something to, to advertise the league, too. Yeah, sick, uh, dude. Yeah, but it's it's pretty fun, though. Like, I mean, it's usually 501, you know. We, and uh, for the league, with 501, we play 11 games, and it's all the points. So you got to play all the 11 games, and whoever wins the most wins the night. But it's really just for points to do the whole league. Like, because if you, if you can pull out winning five points every game, you're going to end up getting in, like, the top fucking four five to four people you know yeah yeah i get it so you're playing the long game rather yeah yeah it's a long game game. yeah you're not worried about wins you're worried about you are worried about wins but you're yeah Mm -hmm. you're more worried about getting numbers all along but yeah it's pretty fun but it's 501 countdown right so you start with 501 Mm -hmm. you work your all your way all the way down to a double out and then you have to throw a double out on the board and that's how you win the game word do, what do kidding. you think about uh well what what do you think about aliens bro Let, let's hear your thoughts on aliens dude dude i'm 100 percent tinfoil hats on bro like yep all they're right well, oh they're coming so like they're and like they're the long saying, gray ones or what no, do you think they they're like insects it doesn't matter what they look like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think they look like? I want to know your your opinion on, on what they are, I, if they do honestly, exist. Honestly, nothing what Hollywood thinks they do, anyway, mm. in my opinion. I just, I don't know. I don't know. For all we know, they could mm. be, like, gaseous, gaseous, you know, or gaseous. Right, like, the like sun that. is an alien, or, like... Right? <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. Or we don't see them on other planets because they're... Oh, they could be invisible, yeah. Like a, like a, a shift in light or something, you know what I mean? Right, like, like no. we, we don't know what, what we're not sensing, right? Like, we only see shit because we have eyes. And we only hey, man, smell shit because mili- we have a nose, right? If we didn't me, have a sense to know system that exists. Let me tell you something. Our military can make jets literally look invisible. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. And think fucking... About what- higher well think about how higher life forms could do with their whole fucking like planet yeah like it, bro like a vacant rock when really it's a whole society there and we just don't know because we can literally not travel there mm-hmm. think about it right True, you don't know bro. like That's if our if our, if our cave at, a caveman ass you know people could actually build that shit and make it invisible and like cloaking devices and shit. Like, come on, man. I'm yeah, what? They got way better shit. What are what's our shit gonna even be like in like fucking twenty years? You know what I mean? We're gonna even be crazier. Like, technology just keeps getting crazier and crazier. It's like a fucking snowball. I think we're all right? gonna fucking become robots, bro. We might live like thousands of years. So the robots might take over. You never know. They're they're building mm-hmm. fucking retarded shit, man. They got robots that carry around drywall now and walk and put it up and install it and everything. And they look like just like a person. This is what I think would be cool though, bro. Picking people up and slamming them down and then drilling them with a drill for all you know. But like you could, (laughs) yeah, listen though, listen, you could fucking take your brain out, right? And put it in a robot body, dude. Robot bodies, but human brains. What about that? (laughs) They're going to become a, what, a sentient life force or whatever they call them. Yeah, bro, that's what I'm saying. And then, like, then all the diseases and shit, they only have to worry about, like, fucking all the brain ones, which all the br- – there is a lot of brain ones, and they're pretty bad, like, if you end up with that. Calm, calm down over there, fucking robo-seb. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you never know. It could be possible, and that would be an yeah, interesting dude. thing. But, like, 
would you have consciousness or would it just be your memories? Would you actually feel like yourself? That's the thing. Or would it just be memories yeah. in a bank and it's just like that thing, that's it, it's over. Right. And what would it be like if they gave you like a different body? Like you're a giant like robot spider and they put your brain in there and then all of a sudden you have like eight <laughs> legs and you have to figure out how to use these legs and shit. It's like you're right. a baby again. It's fucking going through rehab up in this. Would you would you just have a stroke at that point because your like brain couldn't handle it? Like what if if you even knew yeah. beforehand, maybe you'd be okay, but like if you uh -huh. woke up and just were a fucking spider, I think you would might have a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, because it like in my dreams, I'm always uh, or at least most of the time, I think I'm a human, right? I've never been like a spider and had tons of legs to control. Dude, I've been the Joker and I've fallen off that damn fucking clock tower, landed and died, and still woke up and I'm here. Damn, so weird. That's crazy, I've met, man. Yeah, that goddamn laugh has haunted me for 20 years. <laughs> People say that about my laugh, too. It haunts them for 20 years, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Fuck. That's it. Uh, Man, I miss doing stand-up comedy. It's weird, but it's cool I'm trying this whole fucking YouTube thing. It's it's going right? pretty good. Right? Mm -hmm. I was always going to try some stand-up, but like, like I said to you years ago, the only way I could do it is if me and you did it. And we sat, sat up as there a and duo, yeah. Get back and forth. That's like, almost what this up. is. I'm not going up there by myself. It's too annoying. You're too scared. To, it's scary to bomb, right? Fucking. Well, it's not even to bomb. It's just like I have to have somebody to pin off of. Right, I right. I can't ping off of people in the audience because then, you know, I just don't want to fight somebody at the end of the night. I want to literally <laughs> yeah, ping yeah. off somebody that works with it. Yeah, I've been to a lot of comedy shows. I've seen some crazy ass shit. Fucking. People in the audience trying to fight comedians or just trying to play tough guy or whatever. Oh yeah, I, I had somebody come up and grab the microphone yeah. from me. You know, it's it's crazy world out there. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's all the time, man. And then, all right, it's so, like that. It's like that ahead. with everything, though. Yeah, yeah. It's like that with everything. So, mm -hmm. like, I mean, you go to you go to the bar just to have a good time, and you fucking brush up against somebody the wrong way, and they want to fight you for some reason. Yeah, like, bro. Hello, buddy. Yo, do you believe in ghosts? What are your thoughts on ghosts? Yeah, man. Have you ever, ever gone to that Fort George fuck, uh, Halloween walk? Well, not not really, but I've been there. I've never been there on Halloween, yeah. though. Go on the Halloween ghost tour. It's so trippy. Mm -hmm. What if yeah, they just man. have, like, little speakers I set up and shit? some shit. No, 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 man, no, 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 I'm one of, like, the most skeptical people out there, and I'm telling you, man, like, the one thing I didn't really believe in is ghosts, and now, after doing that thing, yeah, I kind of believe in ghosts, man. Really? What happened that it was so believable? So, like, they take you down this one tunnel thing. Mm-hmm. And then, like, by the time you get all the way down to the end, there's, like, a there's like it's just like a big like as big as tower that goes all the way up mm -hmm. right and like so they don't take you up it because they it's obviously closed at night because it's too dangerous to go up at night and there, but they take you into the tunnel and once we all got into the end three people out of the 12 people said they saw a little girl all the way at the end of the tunnel screaming into it mm -hmm. scared they if i was one of the three people i was scared the living shit out of holy me. shit bro yeah, and then like so, and then there's another point where like during the tour, no wind, dead at night, and they, like you could see there's no electricity into these buildings at night. Like there's nothing going on. There's fucking rocking chairs rocking back and forth on the one porch, and then like there is, it, when we looked in the one window of the arm, the the like, the infantry is like sleeping quarters. There was a full uniform soldier there with a with a gun and shit. I'm like yeah, maybe that one could have been somebody messing around as a joke. But like even still, it just it, it just seemed way too odd because like literally no one's there during these tours. Like there's only one tour that goes out for like two hours or whatever it is, and like it's, it's so fucking weird to see anybody else around there because like people wouldn't like it's just I wouldn't see them paying people to mess with people at Fort George. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Unless they advertised it that way, they advertise it as a ghost tour. And not everybody <laughs> saw what we all saw, so you know what I mean? Yeah, that's pretty crazy, man. Damn. Maybe you guys are all schizophrenic and connected. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I just think I'm, I'm more open to the actual idea. 
because I am. True, you might have to be able to send yeah, some. Yeah, yeah, you guys might have been able to send something, others cannot. Yeah, because there is so many some people, people that believe in it. So there must be like, you know, they, yeah, they must be onto something. Some sort of well, energies out there that we're not sensing. It's exactly like what's going on right now. All these people saw everybody buying toilet paper, so everybody believed they needed that shit, so they went and got it. People don't believe in ghosts, really. They think it's a joke, so maybe they can't see them. You know what I mean? Right. But everybody needing toilet paper doesn't make it true, you know? Well, that's, that's, the one, that's what I'm getting at. But with ghosts, it does, maybe. Yeah, it, it's, it's a double standard, kind of. Or it's, it's like, it, it goes both ways, though. You know what I mean? Right, it's, it's kind of like... The, it's all in what people would like believe. Right. Like, if you don't believe in it, then, of course, it's like, I don't believe I need to go buy 50 rolls of toilet paper and newsflash. I haven't needed 50 rolls of toilet paper. Mm -hmm. So I guess I didn't believe in what they were pumping into my brain. You know what I mean? Whereas, like, people always say, oh, ghosts don't exist. It's all a joke. This isn't this. You know? I don't know. It's all in your mind. For what sure. You're willing, to, <laughs> you're willing to believe in is maybe what you're allowed to see. I don't know. That's, 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 like, that's like deep DMT sessions here, man. Right. <laughs> so Fucking. You do, uh... you do that shit, and then you'll be like, hey, now. So what about like heaven and hell or, or like an afterlife at least? Do you believe that after you die that nothing happens or that you go somewhere? What do you think? Well, it's either nothing happens or we go somewhere, one or the other. Or you could become I, a ghost maybe, right? Or yeah, or you could, that, that's the thing. I got three possibilities. Well, I guess four. You don't end up going anywhere and you're stuck here because you got unfinished business or something. Mm -hmm. You go to hell, you go to hell you go to heaven or you get stuck in the middle and that's the worst place to be is in limbo and like you know that's just endless nothingness as a punishment and that's worse than going to hell i would assume yeah that's the thing is like for how how long would it be fun to be a ghost right it's like that's the thing though limbo <laughs> you're stuck being, there forever <laughs> limbo limbo could be being a ghost and you just don't really right. know it like, you can't see everything out there. You just see nothingness. But people, like, you know what I mean? Like, you, it, 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 mm -hmm. but you're really in this area. You're walking right through these walls. You know what I mean? Like, but, like we only sense them, but they can't see us. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, that could be the case, too. All these paranormal shows, I think, are bullshit. Bro, and I just, I feel so lucky that I end up as a human. Like, there's so many more ants out there. You know how shitty it would be to be a fucking ant, dude? <laughs> dude I'm, on the, I'm in this group on Facebook that's called uh, being a part of a fake ant colony or something like that. It's mm -hmm. hilarious. There's, there's all these videos, like, people, they, like, work, like, there's, like, 100 or 200 people in this group, maybe more, I don't know. But, like, uh, they'll be making something at the house, and they'll spill, like, a bunch of crumbs on the table and be like, look, colony. There's some scraps here. We must go and retrieve them. And, and then people will start commenting on it, like pretending to be ants. And they'll be like, ant number 1,752 is like on the way. Oh my God, that's ridiculous. It's pretty <laughs> funny, actually. <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> With all these people all, all at home doing nothing, like it's literally oh like fucking a thousand comments on one picture. It's fucking ridiculous. Jesus. Somebody had a really good idea about something really freaking stupid, and now our Facebook's famous, I would assume, because they run yeah. this colony. Man, I wish I like was trying ten years ago, or even, or even like, right. I wish I just tried. And, like, I'm almost thirty years old, and I like I never really fucking tried to put shit out there. I was, I was like, ah, that's too stupid, right? But then these people put out stupid shit, and then they get fucking love back. Right? Just gotta keep have grinding, that, bro. Have you seen that? Have you seen that a uh, handicapped gentleman on uh, TikTok? No, I'm only like, subscribed to my friends on there. Oh, it's, it's it, every time I log on, he's on my wall. He's got like deformed arms and he's got no legs. He's always hopping around doing weird shit and retarded goofy shit. And I'm just like, man, I don't want to see this. 
But it's just man, like, he it's should, he, he should, if he's getting love for it, he should do that. That's fucking cool, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, fucking... put it on him, whatever, but it's not my thing. I don't want this <laughs> yeah, on yeah. my goddamn TikTok. But every once in a while, I try to scroll up and it likes it, so now I got him stuck there. Mm. Yo, so. David Green's blown up on TikTok fucking hard, dude. Who's getting... David Green? David Green, he's a comedian, he's a good buddy of mine. We got a podcast we do together, Checkmates Podcast. Um, oh, yeah. He just did, uh, like, a TikTok a couple days ago. Fucking, it's at, like, over 200,000 views right now. Nice. Fucking, it's got another one that's, like, TikTok. almost 150 or something. I well, no, you've, you've liked all, a bunch of my TikToks and shit. Yeah. It was awesome, I yeah. TikTok. Mm-hmm. I made one TikTok, and it, all, it, 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 did what, it wasn't approved by bylaws. So I was like, this is gay. I'm not doing another TikTok. Then. Oh, fuck, eh? That sucks, dude. They shut you I down the first one. What'd you do? Show dab. your balls or something? <laughs> oh, I, was, I was just smoking a dab. Oh, wait, wait. It's legal in Canada. What's the problem with your fucking bylaws? It's because it's America. And it's not all legal there. In yeah, fuckers. And, they, and it doesn't and it doesn't look like weed, really, because it's like shatter, right? Yeah. They might think it's something different. I don't mm-hmm. know. And they probably want to keep it pretty clean because it is like tons of fucking kids on there. Tons of kids. Whatever, use bro. The TikTok. I wasn't posting it for the children. True. <laughs> yeah, and the kids can't get a fucking dab break and all that shit. Well, I mean, it, it should be it should be on a it should be on a scale, anyways. Once you put in how old you are for these websites, there should be a scale blocker. So videos from people who are in their twenties should only go to people who are in their twenties to mid thirties, because after that, you don't care what people in their fucking twenties are doing, anyway. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see all. Yeah, these yeah, that, that'd be sick actually if it only kind of shared it with people um of their own age bracket. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, exactly, years, yeah. Ten years, mm-hmm. uh, ten years up, and then like maybe three to five down. I don't want to mm-hmm. see people that are too younger than me, like because I'm fucking, I'm not a. Pedophile. And those are the people that are gonna get your references and shit. They're gonna get your jokes. You got fucking jokes about the '90s or whatever. Exactly. You know, it's gonna be the people that have similar lives to you and in, in certain ways or whatever. I don't get half the jokes that all these stupid young kids are putting up there. So I was just like, this is stupid. I'm off this. And then I just yeah. go on there anytime. I like I go on like once a day basically to see if you got something or if like my two other friends that use it have mm-hmm. something. And that's it. It's a lot of people fucking doing stupid dances and shit. Yeah. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's so so dumb. Whatever. Okay. Fuck TikTok. <laughs> no, but it's it's cool that David's blown up on there. Like you gotta try every way, every avenue. You know, I should've been grinding on Instagram, Twitter, fucking. You have to like send I, me a link for his info because i don't know him yeah man support his shit he's fucking awesome just uh i think on tiktok he's uh david green everybody so it's like all one word and then uh yeah you'll see his fucking shit with tons of views so sick dude it's just like one liners like if you like mitch hedberg if you like my type of comedy if you like uh demetri yeah, martin yeah yeah steven ray people like that it's yeah, like yeah yeah Dad, dad David, jokes. Some David. people call them right. Yeah, and then you get into the mouthy David Tell, and and then like uh, what's his name? Uh, and he's like, he's really clean. Like, like he doesn't swear or anything. So it's like, help. yeah, you know. yeah. Fucking um, we got podcasts too. I went and I saw, I went and I saw Doug Can Hope a couple years ago. It was a good show. That's fire, bro. Fuck, I saw Louis C.K. like fucking six months That's ago or dope. something. I saw I saw David Tell too a couple of years ago. Damn, that, that was a good show. He had that show, uh, Insomniac or whatever, where he used to try just walk around town, like in random towns in the states and like everywhere, and he would like drink all night. Go to so, Amsterdam yeah. one time. He goes to Amsterdam for a special episode and smokes all everything and eats just edibles and drinks and yeah, it's, it's that's pretty good fire, show. bro. Just a, it's just places where you can go where you can drink all night, basically. And, uh, yeah, he goes to the uh, up into Alaska, and he does the summer solstice thing there, and he drinks, like, literally from the night until the morning, and it never changes. It's just always night. It's That's crazy. crazy, actually. That's fire. Damn. Yeah, there's a lot of actually good B-grade shows from comedians that no, no one really knows about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yo, you ever travel to fucking, like, uh, anywhere crazy or anything? 
I went to the gathering of the juggalos. Oh fun. yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. I know about that. You ever been I like a year I went with Dylan? Well, Dylan, I did, we didn't go together, but he was yeah, yeah. showing up there. It was all right. Fucking uh I went to Thailand once, it was fucking crazy, bro. Oh yeah. I've never been gnarly. anywhere like wild. Mm-hmm. I've been to uh I've been to North Bay. I flew there, like to uh, Thunder Bay. Oh nice, how's that? Uh, I don't know. It was the first time I ever was on a plane. <laughs> I went to, the, but I I did go to that like magnetic hill shit in uh, Nova Sto- or New Brunswick. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, camp there. It was fun, fun time. Dope shit, bro. Dope shit. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Went for a road trip. Yeah. And besides that, no, no, I've never. I haven't been a really big traveler. Kind of hard to travel on a budget. True, true. Been but, on my own for a while. Long while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know, Thailand, that sounds sick. Yeah, dude, it was fucking crazy. I fucking, I went to a full moon party. It was like 10,000 people on a fucking beach. Just right. drinking That's where Hobson is right now. Pardon? That's where Hobson is right now. Oh, weird. Yo, your yeah. audio is starting to become a little fuzzy, I think, bro. Yeah, that's. I don't know if it was always like that, or if it if I'm just tripping, or if it's getting worse, or. It's a possibility. These are still new. All right, I I say we uh we'll we'll cut it now. Um, fuck. Thanks so much for doing this, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah, man. Anytime, buddy. All right, brother.